What's up, everybody? Magic with RacingDudes.com here to watch the Grade One Frazette Stakes at Belmont at the Big A. Look at that rain; it is nasty. Uh, so many puddles here. They're sloppy. They're not off the turf. They just finished the Joe Hurst Turf Classic last race. I. Uh, uh, this is the Breeders Cup winning you're in for the juvenile Phillies and uh, a one-turn mile race here. Uh, I don't have a strong opinion in this race other than this is just such a mess. I would go with the six. Emery on the outside. She scratched out of the Alcibiades Stakes yesterday at Keeneland. Brett Cox usually loves to win races at Keeneland, but he sends her here. She has the only off-track experience in the field. Um, she is, however, a big favorite, so I would play her uh on top with the one and just fyi the five underneath an exacta but here they are for the frisette and they're off good break for all six fillies the one goes right to the front and that's why i liked her uh two for two both wins gate to wire uh the winds had been kind of slower times but she was very comfortable doing it and would not be a complete surprise to see her uh do well uh, a daughter of maximus mischief his first crop and his he was a great very precocious two-year-old and his crop seems to be doing that as well uh emery in a good spot there um trying to beat life talk i thought being buried inside she's going to get the kickback and not enjoy it so that's why i was against her 23 and 3 pretty sensible emery in a perfect spot you know to, to sit and pounce just fyi also in a great spot and you would think being a daughter of justify uh and i love the name there that she would be able to handle the off track as well uh, Life Talk's getting a clean trip on the rail somehow because the one is off. The rail, I wonder if it's just a really bad spot to be, uh, or if Hyro Rendon's making a huge mistake here, <laughs> allowing Irad Ortiz Jr. room to come up the rail. Uh, here come the six and the five. Uh, we'll see. This is going to be, uh, a good effort. The three's the only one who's really kind of thrown in the towel. The four is also going. Emery's backing up. Emery's getting some kickback, and Emery is not liking that. And here's the rail opening for Life Talk, and holy cow. Daughter of Gunrunner, but look at Just FYI. The Gunrunner and Justify Babies duking it out. Just FYI looks like as long as she can hold it straight, she's going to keep on. Uh, Emery, I don't want to say rebounded, the one more threw it in. Central Avenue, a great effort along the rail. She's going to get up for second at a big price, 18-1. to 1. Listen, a nice running of the grade one for Zet Stakes there. Great effort from just FYI. Back-to-back -back grade one wins for owner George Krikorian. Uh, one with Warlike Goddess and Joe Hirsch and now wins with just FYI. Good-looking Philly. Uh, proven on fast. Proven in the mud. A good effort there. Uh, it's hard to take a lot out of this when you know with like 98% certainty that the Breeders' Cup at Santa Anita is going to be fast in two turns. And this was neither fast surface or two turns. But she looked great. She looked professional. Um very nice performance from just fyi uh i don't know if it's the distance for emery i don't know if it, i that maybe it was she seemed okay she didn't seem super comfortable emery that is but um i think central avenue got up for a second she kind of made a nice late run i think you know distance will be good for her the two i was trying to beat her it worked out i, I was trying to beat her with the wrong horse but uh and then the one yeah, I'm not, maybe just too much of a step up here after racing at parks uh, for most of her career. But those are my thoughts for the grade one for Zet Stakes list. And we still have the chandelier left to go. And if you want to get my thoughts on the Elsa Bidey Stakes, head over to youtube.com slash racing dudes. You can go to racing dudes.com as well. Check out all of the previews and the recaps for every single Breeders' Cup winning your in race from this past weekend. There's tons of them. These are just the, this was the first Breeders' Cup winning your in of the Saturday massive cards still to go at Keeneland. Bill Mott's like, I just went down there, got my picture taken. I got to do it again. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I should have just stayed down there. He says, yeah. Um, that was great. Good to see Bill Mott will get the win there. Uh, but visit us at racings.com for free picks for every race, every track across the country. We'll be covering everything over on the Magic Mike Show Monday as well, so we'll be recapping everything. Leave me your thoughts down below in the comments section before you leave. Like the video. Subscribe to YouTube.com slash Racing Dudes. Again, is this your pick for the Breeders' Cup Juvenile? Pretty great connections. Pretty great effort from this filly. She looks beautiful as well. Next time, good luck. RacingDudes.com is your home for the best free picks for every race, every track. It's Breeders' Cup season, and we've got wall-to-wall -wall coverage of the World Championships. Subscribe to YouTube.com slash Racing Dudes right now. Click the notification bell. You never want to miss a single video. Want to make money betting horses? Bet with the Racing Dudes.